Today we're off fishing with a bloke who wants me to call him the Perch Prince. We're going to be chasing some redfin, but first we're going to drop in and get those key supplies. It's going to be a very cold morning and I've got several new lures I want to try, so let's get stuck into it and see how we go. hundred different lures and at the end of the day you just use the same one we use every other time so we'll go with a little red squidgy I reckon Two point five red little squidgy with a little spinner I found attached. I haven't actually tried these yet. I think they might be too heavy, but we'll give them a go. Anyway, sun's coming up. No sign of the perch prints, so we'll make a little start. We've got swells just in front of me already. Oy. Oh, did I just have a hit? Or did we hit the bottom? Yeah, we got a hit. First little ready, nice and close. On the board. Sorry, mate. So now that we know that was Reddy's here, can we dial in on the school? 
Probably need to just check the lure too to make sure it hasn't been uh, spooled up. Size two hook. No sign of the perch print still. But we're on the board. It's not quite swimming well. So I've got the pre-made jig with the little spinner built into it, but it's not causing the paddle tail to like flick nicely. In saying that though, we've already got one in the first four casts, so how much do you complain really? But if I was in a difficult system, then I'd probably want everything going my way. Oh, touch. The other thing is, do I really need a spinner? Because the water's quite clear. Oh, come on, have another hit, Sam. Bang, oh, did he hit it? I was at the ground. That was a definite hit. <laughs> And we got one. Oh, had a crack at it. Again, hitting the lures but not taking it. So whether I'm just worried that it's grabbing here, and it's scaring them off instead of hitting the whole lure itself because the spinner engulfs the lure a little bit. Got him real close. Bang. A little more size to him. Still a little though. Um, not really fillet size. Oh yeah, easy fillet size.
I'd say 20 centimeters. They're here, that's for sure. Can't argue then with the spinner because it seems to be working. Whether the strike rate is up high enough on a one for a red fin. What have I had? Five hits already for two fish. It's definitely a little pocket out there where it's nice and deep for them. Ironically, I caught this one in a bit closer. Oh, am I on straight away? Yes, this one's a good size. He got him on the drop. This is the first one with a bit of weight. Let's get a look at him. He's about five metres out. Not coming in. Fuck, he's got some weight on him. Oh, that's the first keeper. In you come, big dog. Let's see if we can get him up and onto the bank. Good size ready. Real big ready. Great fillet size. We'll get a measurement on him for you. Have a little look. So he's coming in at 33 centimeters. I'll try and get a weight on him if he'll sit still. Thirty-three centimeters at zero point five of a kilo. Good start. Good start. Touch. Two touch and on. Oh. Is he going to follow it any further after having two digs at it? Probably not. So let's get it back out there. Hit, 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 and got him in close again. Good bit of size on him again. Ooh, that was a good fight. Yeah. Definitely a fillet size. Probably another 20 centimeter one, traditional red fin. Just started to wake up, obviously.
We've just made contact with the perch prince. And for some reason he was going through Kaipo Forest and run into a fun run or something like that. Not quite sure why he wanted to do the fun run first. Or if he just got lost. Regardless, he should be 20 minutes to 30 minutes away. But in that time, we are actually going to start getting some bait out and having a look how the worms go. So this one's a circle hook. So it's a bit of the old, you can set and forget. And I'll put a bell on so I can do a bit of lure fishing while I'm waiting. I'm actually mixed reviews about using circle hooks for redfin because they tend to just peck at the bait and these worms just a little bit. And I'd ideally like to be there for the strike. But since the old uh, Prince of Perch is coming down, he's going to want to chat and I'm going to miss and I'm going to have to cast a few lures. So there's a good chance I'm not going to be there for the first hit. So we're going to double worm it. And boy oh boy, these are some big python worms. Look at that. Even I'd have a little snack on that if I was keen. I don't know if I should hang that much worm out down the bottom, but I don't think we will. But you do want to encourage all the wriggling around. All right, so a bit of a patnoster slash running sinker. Now, I do sort of know the channel where I've been hitting them from the lures. It only seems to be about 10 metres out, so... I'm actually just going to plop it. It's a nice close one. And like everyone's favourite lures, I've also got a favourite bell. Don't ask me why. We just get a bit weird like that sometimes. Why can't you have a favourite bell? Everyone's got a favourite lure. So we'll have the bait 10 metres in front, which is where you're looking now. And with the lure, I'll go 25 out to the left and work it in. Perch Prince is just coming on down. You thought so? Don't worry about it, mate. What's the rule? What's the rule? I can only have a drink when what? When you catch one. See a drink in my hand? No. Before you sit down, can you help me out? Just, I'm a bit thirsty, mate. Really? Uh, we have caught four redfin. When you say we, is someone else here? Me. Yeah. Four redfin. Yeah. All off the lure. I've literally just put in the, the worms now. Just when you rocked up over there. All have been right where I'm fishing now. But I bought some new lures ready, as you saw. Throw them out. <laughs> yeah, to get here and I just used the old faithful. Did you? <laughs> yeah. I'll show you what the prince has got. He's got a green sort of grab tail. He's <laughs> screaming. You get much. <laughs> but, um,. Unless it's frozen fish, that bloke doesn't catch him, so. This guy over here, the Perch Prince, I think um, one of the creeks flooded or something over the road. Is that what happened? Yeah. And you drove past and you said, is that a redfin? <laughs> Went up and caught it with his own bare hands. It's a good size ready as well, wasn't it? It's like 30 centimetres. Zero talent said nice LOL. Yeah, he's good with frozen fish. Let's see how he goes out in the open with the sun, though. Oh, yeah, it's down. It's actually up a little bit because I had the rain the last week. Oh, getting a touch here, look. 
on the worms. <clears throat> First little table dabble. And the line's gone slack, that's not good. Or is it good? That's good. <clears throat> I lost the tension on it though. Bad fishing. I think he's only a little baby. Don't judge me on that. It's already though. Yeah, mate. You think that I can't catch him? Are you surprised? Well, you were doing a fun run down in. Thanks, mate. It's only a small one. Don't judge me on how I fished it, though. What do you reckon? 15, 18 centimetres? You get a fillet off of it. Hang on. Yeah, come on down. Oh, did I miss him? I've missed him. So, I oh, he was a good one. I just missed it. This is the thing with the circle hooks. They hook himself. They bend over a bit. So look at that. He's bitten the end of the worm off there. There was two worms on this. It hasn't touched that. Ah. And didn't touch the running sinker one. Okay. That's interesting. You know when you go play golf, there's always that one bloke that goes, oh, can I borrow a tee, borrow a ball? Yeah, right. Or you go to a pub, can I, oh, can I have a smoke, mate? I left mine at home. This is him. It's definitely no good. Nah, no good. We are on. We are on on this new little bug blade. Only small one, but <clears throat> change of lure. Well, you haven't got any rods in, mate. You got, you're bragging about these custom things you've made. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's nice, straight away. Oh, and that rod's still going. That's probably the smallest one I've caught today. Yeah, I still wanna, I've been here all morning. I don't want you to miss out. Oh, there we go. I'm on. Oh, I'm off. And I'm on. Straight away, Kapka. Can't catch him on the lure, you reckon? He's on. Oh, Kapka's done it. On. Well done. Good size or not? Yeah, definitely. Bigger than yours. Hey? Bigger than yours. Yeah, wait till you see mine. Yeah, put it in. Yeah, it's a good size, you get a feel off that. Well done, mate. Um, do we turn back now? What do you mean? Well, we've got a can. Is it worth going back for a sit and drink? Get his little brother. Yeah, get out there. Alright mate, it's not on your spot. <laughs>
Well done, no. Well done. Come on, get it back out there quick. I will go over here. So I don't cross over your line. Oh, hit already. Hit again, and I'm on. No. Oh! No, Straight away. Oh. Thanks, mate. Straight away in the black. Cool. I'm on again. Oh! Get out there. Come on, boys. Take it. Come on. Touch. Touch. Oh. Bang! This time I'm on. I told you, Bart. You didn't believe me. Yes. He didn't believe me. I re-hit that little school. <clears throat> nah, you won't be on. You won't be on. Well, mate. First time I've used the black. Um, could probably get a fit. Nah, I'll let it go. I can, but it's pretty small. On the black. Got pushed over to this corner because he didn't reckon he could catch any. Had a double hit on the drop. Accused me of cheating. Oh, you should see it in the water. I don't know if you can see it, but geez, it looks good. It looks like a tadpole. Not that hard, mate. I just changed the and You move me and I'll... Go here, let's go. You keep catching your sticks. I missed it. No, I didn't. Got, it. got him. I've also got worms in the bucket. On. Good work, dog. Let's have a look live on stream. Tracy! It's not a bad size, is it? You want that? Oh, yeah, throw back. Too small. Nice little catch, though. I want it. Okay, last one. It's in the water. Three, two, and retrieve. touch here. I'm gonna touch. I'm on. Oh this is massive. Oh my god. 